Hi guys, I hope you are all doing great. As this year comes to end, I would like to discuss and share a few things. This year, I started teaching a few friends, which has now scaled to a community of thousands of coders on Discord, YouTube, Twitter, and LinkedIn. We developed various resources this year, like the Accordingly Ladders, Hard Seventy Five Bot, ACD Bot, and most importantly, the ACD Discord server, which now has more than seven thousand members, making it the biggest active Indian CP server. The best part is all of these resources are absolutely free. Thousands of coders use these resources on daily basis and have seen significant growth in their CP profiles. Hundreds of students even got help in placements by these resources. The journey has been thrilling to say the least, and I had never ever ever thought that we'd scale so much so quick. And thanks a lot for all the unconditional support you guys have given so far. However, the later part of part of the year or the past four to five months have been a bit different. I resigned from Microsoft in September this year and joined a startup. The work is amazing here, to be honest, but the lack of bandwidth now doesn't really allow me to contribute much to teaching. Although other people are selflessly helping new code and uh, even the intermediate coders on our Discord server, and hence it's highly active and ever growing. But still, I in particular, I'm not able to be active as much I, as I was earlier. I would like this to change. I would again like to start contributing and start my own course. Obviously, I'll have to cut a bit on other fronts. For instance, I'm dropping my plans of getting into fitness in the year 2024. So this was one of the major plans I had. I'll have to drop this. That's fine. And also, I won't be able to continue my own competitive programming journey. And thereby, I'm quitting a competitive programming now. Yes, it's gonna be detrimental for my personal and professional growth. However, I really don't see another way of being in a position to contribute again to the community without quitting CP. Although I myself am a bit against courses, but lately, uh, lately interacting with a lot of uh, new coders made me realize that beginners do rely heavily on courses. As spoon uh, spoon feeding often is helpful at that level, and you also can't expect everyone to read blogs and search for online resources, especially when the person has just begun. The course I'm planning would span for four to five months and would cover the basics of data structure algorithms and competitive programming. To an extent that should make you capable enough to reach expert on code forces, and should be good enough for cracking your dream organizations. I don't consider DSA CP to be extremely different things, and hence I don't see a point in ranting about either of them. Rather, it's best to club both and uh, see amazing growth. I would most likely start in February 2024, and this course includes me teaching live and doubt discussions along with uh, video and text resources. Obviously, for every topic we are gonna teach, I'm gonna provide you with a lot of problems from various platforms, so you can practice those and can get more confident on the knowledge you have gained. Also, over the past few weeks, I was interacting with a lot of top uh, top Indian coders and tech professionals. One thing was pretty clear that keeping all these resources for free would attract definitely a lot of people. However, free resources are mostly taken for granted, hence it really won't do any good. This is something I also had witnessed. In the very beginning of this year, when I started teaching on Discord and YouTube, now I'm just left with two choices here. Uh, first is that I make it paid, and I could donate all the money I get to some charity, so that people understand the value of the course they are purchasing and put in the required efforts. However, this would dent my plans of promoting free education. And the second alternative I'm th uh, thinking of is that I can have a big enough student base so that a few students taking it for granted isn't too demotivating for either either for me or for my entire team. And this is where I feel I should be betting. Obviously, it's not something I can do, and would uh, need help from you guys. I'm aiming for ten thousand on Twitter, YouTube, and Discord. If we reach this mark by the end of the year, like we still have a week to do this, right? Then I promise I'll start and conclude everything I just mentioned. I know some people, mostly those who don't know me for a while now, would feel that I'm trying to gain sub uh, subscribers or followers here. So just to mention, none of these platforms earn me a single penny. And all of them are absolutely free. Even though we have thousands of coders using ACD ladders on daily basis, still it's uh, advertisement free, just to improve the user experience over there. Yes, the Twitter account in particular might generate some revenue in the future, but I had already announced that I'll not be keeping a single penny out of it, and would rather utilize all the money for the community in terms of giveaways and for developing more useful stuff for the community. And to be honest, guys, it's really not easy. To keep promoting free education, especially when edtechs are willing to pay huge amount of money just to teach on their platform, or even just to uh, like do some promotion, a small LinkedIn post, for example. But I understand the financial condition of several students in college 
who are barely able to keep, uh, barely able to pay their college fees i would really uh, never ever feel morally correct if i you know ask them to pay even a single rupee for a course also money really doesn't matter beyond a point and the satisfaction you would rather get for truly helping others is unparalleled hence i've always rejected such offers like till date i have not done a single paid promotion uh, i'm trying to do the same now but this time i need your help i'm not going to spend a single penny on advertisement since the course is uh, going to be free or 100% free you can say that there's no attached component that would be paid with this course hence uh, since the course is free the uh, the promotion also needs to be with the word of mouth if any of the acd resource or even if i in person have been able to help you in the smallest possible way to reach where you are today then i would re- i would really request you to show some support and spread this message let's see if you are able to reach 10000 by the end of this year links are in the comment section and description for instance it's possible that you are already placed you are already expert or cm or above in that case maybe your juniors could uh, get help from this i'll be teaching you the best manner possible and also the other contributors are all those people who are just not uh, rushing behind money but are trying to provide some value to others yeah that's pretty much it let's see if we are able to reach 10000 by the end of this year links are in the comment uh, comment section and descriptions and thanks a lot for sticking till the end i hope we are able to reach the desired numbers by the end of the year and i am able to contribute a lot more next year cool guys thanks a lot keep coding stay hydrated keep helping others thanks a lot peace